This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to tile your textures so that they fit onto anything here. Now, for whatever reason, this is not uh, something that comes with Unreal, although I really wish it was a button. So if anyone from the Unreal Engine dev team is looking at this, please make this a feature. So in the last tutorial, I showed you how to import things from Quixel Bridge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Content Quixel Bridge. And then I basically get this here. I'm going to go into the environment, into industrial, I think, and it's an abandoned factory. Yeah, so you can download a few of these uh, here. I think I've downloaded the cinder blocks and the ground on the concrete floor. Please, you can download whatever one you want. It doesn't really matter here. Uh, but uh, you, you just need to download that. And what should happen is it should come up within its own kind of mega scans folder. So once you do that, we need to go and create two materials. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create two materials uh, from scratch here. And what I'm, what I'm showing you here is I'll just show you what the problem is. Okay. And so if I go into surfaces here... And let's start with the floor. So if I drag this on the floor here, it might take a little time to uh, to compile here. Uh, but what what it will do is it will essentially stretch uh, uh, stretch everything, and we really don't want that, right? So ugh, that doesn't look very good. So if only there was a better way. All right. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to show you how to do this with pretty much um, any texture you want here. So what I'm going to do is create a material. We'll call this concrete concrete floor and I think that's probably pretty good here let's open that up here move it over uh, and you should come up with something like this okay so what I'm gonna do is hop back into the concrete floor and I'm gonna literally select all these three and then move over to here and you'll now have three different ones here so the texture sample and I'm just gonna set everything up like this and you're gonna see why in just a second. Now we need to select all of these three to make this into a texture object. It won't work if you don't do this. Okay, and then I'm gonna type in world aligned texture. Okay, you can see here that this is a texture object and if we did not do that, we would not be able, if we did not convert these to texture objects, this would not work. So you have to do it just the way it works, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're uh, use our XYZ texture into our base color here. And I'm also gonna select this to a cube so you can kind of see what's going on here. Now, in theory, you could stop right here, but there's two other texture objects for you to add. So I'm gonna add the world alignment here and basically add this here. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. This one, I believe is the, oh, it's not the normal. Uh, no, yes, right, this is not that one here. And so you can actually plug this into the specular and the roughness, as well as this one, we can plug into the normal map, okay? That's gonna take a bit of time to load, but you should see something similar. Let's just wait till it loads here, but you should see something similar pop up very soon. Uh, for whatever reason, I mean, when I'm working on this computer, it does take a little bit longer just because I am recording it. So just uh, like that here, I'm gonna pause it. Ah, as soon as I was going to pause it. So you can see it does indeed work. If I can zoom in, uh, it does indeed work. So you're going to go ahead and save it. This might take a long time as it usually does because uh, it does have to render the shader. So I'll pause it until we're done. All right. And so now what you need to do is hop back into the content and simply drag this concrete floor out here. And in a few seconds, you should see it uh, be perfectly tiled. Okay, and all that it means here is that this world aligned texture is going to uh, basically make it so that it uh, it tiles evenly across any surface. Because remember that these blocks here are stretched out. That's what that's what that's what's happening here. And while this is loading here, I'm going to go ahead and set up the second one here. And so it's really it's pretty much the same thing, except we're going to call this cinder blocks. Okay, let's open that guy up here and let's hop into the cinder blocks, literally select all these in here and then just do the same thing here. Okay, so it's pretty much the exact same process here. Uh, we're going to go world align texture. And if you, if you look at this here, it actually won't work. 
Okay, so that's what I was trying to say before. And we can actually select all these three. Now, depending, uh, sometimes these little shortcuts work and sometimes they don't. So I'm going to copy this a couple times. Very easy stuff. Hook that up. Base color is what you see. You can do the specular, which is kind of like the, the shininess of it. And then the texture object and the normal kind of gives it its bumpiness, all right? And then you can kind of see that this works here. I'm going to save it. And sure enough, it does indeed uh, work. So if we hop back here, it's finally loaded. And while I'm working this here, we can go into the cinder blocks here. And we can just uh, paste it on the wall here. And what I'm actually going to do uh, is I'm going to uh, drag it here uh, to this block. Right, and then look, oh, it looks on that block. And then I'm also going to drag it here. All right. And just to hit the point home, I might as well drag it here. Okay. And as you can see, uh, this texture is perfectly tiled to everything here. And if you look at this, that looks like a good cinder block wall. Now, there's a couple of caveats to this, by the way. And I'm just going to kind of move it here. And then, ah, it's still loading. But there you go. You can see that the wall is also tiled there. So you can see that that, yeah, and that looks pretty good. And you can see there's a little bit of that shininess that I was I was talking about and just uh, just briefly there. And you can see that the blocks have been tiling here. Now, if you want to change the scale of this, that's something completely different. But as you can see, this looks a lot better than what it did uh, before here. Okay. And so what you can also do is just to add in one other thing here. I'm just going to create a light. This is optional here. And I'm just going to add in a light right here. And you can kind of see what the material looks like. So it's not bad. I mean, uh, it looks pretty good. Um, the Everything tends, uh, tends to look pretty good in Unreal. But you can see that, you know, the detail on that is quite amazing. Now, remember, uh, in, if you remember the last tutorial, these textures and everything are medium quality. So believe it or not, you can actually get higher quality stuff. I just tend to not work with it just because uh, you might get too big or your project might get too big. All right. So there we go. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone. Thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. It really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.